Hi everyone, and welcome back. As promised, here's the next tutorial on how to make pets from Among Us. I had so many requests for the mini crewmate, and this is a great add-on to your full-size plushies. I also decided to make the hamster ball, the brain slug, and the UFO. So first up, the simplest and quickest way to make a mini crewmate would just be to use smaller socks. If you're lucky enough to find baby-sized fluffy socks in any shop, then be sure to grab some just in case. However, I know that these can be quite tricky to find, and I've only come across them about two times in six years of making plushies. So for this video, I'll still show you how to make it using a normal sock. This is actually pretty simple, and you just have to turn the sock sideways before drawing on the body outline. Unfortunately, we can't really incorporate many of the sock's natural edges in this DIY, so there's a bit more sewing involved. When making smaller plushies, it's important to keep your stitches neat because there's a higher chance of accidentally cutting through the thread. When cutting out the shape, check the reverse side as well, just to make sure you don't get too close to the stitches. Next, make an absolutely tiny hole in the face area and turn the plush the right way round. Then stuff it using polyester stuffing or cotton wool. These mini crewmates require very little material, so you can easily make two or three per sock. Now I'm taking some leftover white fabric and cutting out a small oval shape. Make a running stitch along the edge and add a bit of stuffing to the center. Pull the thread to close it up and sew this onto the face. I very nearly didn't manage to cover up the opening here, so that's the reason why you want to make the hole as small as possible before flipping your sock inside out. Now draw a small rectangle for the backpack. Stitch along the edges and leave a small opening free at the very end. Cut it out and make sure your needle is on the other side of the fabric. Then turn it the right way around, stuff it lightly and close it up using the same thread. Sew it onto the body and your mini crewmate is done. These are super easy to make using the leftover fabric from your full-size plushies, and they also look great as charms or keyrings. Next up, we have the hamster. I had to make this one because I love hamsters, although it's worth mentioning that hamster balls aren't recommended for real animals. However, that's not a problem with virtual pets, so I'm going to start with a plastic bubble like this. These are sold in most craft stores to make decorations with, and because we're getting close to Christmas, they should be fairly easy to find. Another option is to use these kind of plastic balls from toys or vending machines. The one I have here is actually from a slime advent calendar. I'm going to use air dry paper clay for the body, but of course this works with any type of clay, including cold porcelain, which you can make yourself at home, and I have a recipe for that here. Start by mixing a warm gray color using acrylic paint. Then sculpt a round oval shape and pinch one end to make a small tail. Next, make two tiny circles for ears and cut them along one side to create a flat surface. Use a bit of water to help the clay stick and smooth the edges down using a toothpick. To make the legs, I'm cutting off four small segments of toothpicks like this. Because the legs are quite thin, I don't think they're going to support the body if they're only made from clay. I'm wrapping each toothpick in a small piece of clay and then inserting it with the pointy side first into the body. Now just smooth out all the edges and the basic shape is done. I like how the original image of the hamster is very small and it's kind of hard to make out details. The facial expression looks slightly bewildered, so I'm going to replicate that here by painting on really large eyes. The legs are only black because it's part of the artwork style from Among Us, but I'm going to paint them black here as well so they match up. I'm going to get rid of these tabs here because I don't like how they look, but of course you can keep them if you want to turn this into a Christmas tree decoration. I originally wanted to use hot glue to keep the hamster in place, but I found it was a bit tricky to get the legs in the right position when you're closing the ball. However, I noticed that it looks pretty good and stays upright without using any glue at all. Moving on to the brain slug, which I suppose is a pet and a hat at the same time. This was obviously inspired by the brain slug from Futurama, which was really popular when I was at university, but this was years and years ago. 
I'm kind of curious to know whether people even watch Futurama these days, or if you've only heard of the series through internet memes. I'm going to start with some leftover fabric, and this sock is already inside out. Turn it sideways and draw a ghost shape that fills the space from top to bottom. Be sure to use very small stitches when you're sewing the outlines here, and mine were no more than 5mm wide. Since you have a lot of curvy lines within a fairly small space, the stitches have to be very close together in order to pick up the shape correctly. Ironically, sewing a mini sock plush can often take longer than a full-sized one because you have to be more careful when working. When turning this inside out, use your finger to firmly push out all the edges so the shape is nice and clear. Take three small balls of stuffing and use these on the legs first, followed by one big one for the body. Cut out a circle of white fabric and turn this into an eyeball. Then attach it using a ladder stitch, and you can easily do all of these steps using one thread. To make the details, I'm just going to use some black felt fabric. If you don't have any, then you can also use paint for the eyeball and black sock fabric for the antenna. There isn't a real sewing technique for attaching the antenna, so I'm just doing a few random stitches to make sure it stays in place. Now the brain slug is done, and you can always attach this onto your crewmate as a hat. In case you missed my previous video with more DIY hats, then be sure to check it out here. Last but not least, we have the UFO. I found this grey fluffy sock from Flying Tiger, and it turned out unexpectedly long. This is good because it gives you lots of fabric for making plushy details, and the color works well for the helmet faceplate. To make the UFO, start from the toe part and extend this into a circle. Then sew along the line and cut it out. Cut a small hole in the middle, flip it around and then stuff the edges lightly. For the UFO window, I'm going to use some leftover blue fabric. Just cut out a circle, make a running stitch along the edge and stuff it to make a ball. Then secure the opening loosely using a few crisscross stitches and attach it onto the UFO. I found it was useful to press the pieces together like this while making the ladder stitch because it ensures that the top part looks more like a dome instead of a ball. The UFO also has colorful lights around the outside and I'm going to use beads for these. I also discovered by accident that a lens cap makes a great holder for small round objects. When sewing them on, be sure to make a tight knot after every single bead. This is so that, just in case one bead gets ripped off by accident, the other ones won't slide off as well. There are six beads in total, so I'm just going to eyeball the distance between them. This isn't too difficult, because the same two colors are always directly opposite each other. However, if you want to be safe, then you can always mark out the location for each bead using a pen or some concealer. This UFO plushie is great for learning basic sock plush techniques because it's very easy to make but it also helps you practice how to work symmetrically. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and please subscribe for more. From now until Christmas, I'll be focusing on lockdown-friendly tutorials using budget craft supplies. In times like these, it feels almost safer to just make gifts from home instead of going out to the shops. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!